If you're looking to buy a home in 2024, I'm going to share with you three things that are going to serve you to focus on. So buying a house in 2024, focus on these three things. There's 10 step processes. There's 13 things to think about. This is simple and easy. Three things to think about if you're buying a home in 2024. Stay tuned. All right, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to get straight to it. Three things that you should be focused on if you're going to buy a home. I'm going to tell them to you right now, then I'm going to explain what I mean by all of them. First and foremost, you need to research and you need to learn about real estate and mortgage. Just a little bit, not all the way, but have some sort of competency around what you're getting into before you make the largest purchase of your life. So research and learn. Number one. Number two is find professionals. Who you work with matters more than ever. You've got your real estate agent on one side. You've got your mortgage broker on the other. Eventually, you're going to also have a title company. But these two by your side, real estate agent and lender, are vitally important. So find professionals. If this is your first time, it's even more important. No matter what time it is, though, this is a large purchase. This isn't a smoothie or a shirt. This is a home. This is hundreds of thousands of dollars you're spending. Use professionals. Number three, 2024 specific, be realistic. The market has changed. It's one, no longer as affordable as it used to be. And unfortunately, you can't rewind time and say, I want this much house for this price and get it. Just no longer there. Also, it's going to be relatively competitive in 2024. I can guarantee you that. If you don't want it to be competitive, if you want to find the greatest deal ever, I would say 2024 is probably not the year for you. So I'm going to break these down, give you some more thoughts on it. Before I do, if you want to connect with me and my team, greatmortgagebroker.com. We're in 48 states. So if you're anywhere but New York or Massachusetts, I'm happy to help. If you're in New York or Massachusetts, I have great co contacts there too. So still go to greatmortgagebroker.com, fill out the form. I'll connect you with someone who's going to take great care of you. Because if they don't, you're going to email me. You're going to text me. You're going to say, Matt, why didn't this person call me back? I'm going to get on them and say, you know what? If you want to help me support clients across the country, I need you to give high level service because all I've done for a decade is blood, sweat, and tears creating a great reputation. So greatmortgagebroker.com. Enough with the commercial. Back to the show, learn and research. I've talked about this a lot. This is what this channel is all about, empowering you through education. So I know it's out there. Whether you work with me, listen to me or not, there's so much information out there, so much. And on the mortgage side, you don't have to be a mortgage expert, but at least know the price point you're looking at, what it's going to look like from a monthly payment perspective, what it's going to look like from a total cash to close perspective. As crazy as it might sound to some people, knowing what I know, sitting in my seat, closing thousands of loans, talking to thousands of real estate agents, talking to tens of thousands of consumers, I can tell you not everybody does this work. Not everybody does even the bare minimum of knowing the numbers. Some, because they have to get pre-approved to look at homes in many areas, to, because they have to get pre-approved to submit offers, they go through that step, but that's where it ends. Pre-approval, I can buy up to 600,000. Thank you so much. On they go. Know what the numbers look like. If the mortgage professional you're working with isn't providing this stuff and you know, giving you some level of detail around if you buy at 450,000, here's what it's going to look like. If you buy at 500,000, here's what it's going to look like. I know you said you wanted to put 5% down, but on your application, you've got well over 10% down in the bank. You'd still be left with some reserve funds if you put 10% down. Maybe consider that or have a conversation with your mortgage advisor around 
what do you think I should do? Here's how much I have. Here's a monthly payment that's comfortable. These are the conversations that need to be had and unfortunately aren't being had in a lot of cases. Know your numbers, but also know the real estate side. Do a little bit of research on the largest asset purchase of your life to know, you know what, this part of this town is a great place to raise a family. I looked and I saw that the schools, they weren't the greatest, but they are pretty good. I know from doing whatever level of research you want, everything's available on the internet, right? Don't just throw a dart, pick a neighborhood, get a pre-approval, submit an offer and go. That's where people go wrong, quite honestly, is they just don't put in a little bit of work up front to be prepared. So learn and research, otherwise known as be prepared, is the number one thing you want to do if you're going to buy a house in 2024. Number two piece of advice is find professionals. Unfortunately, getting a loan originator license is not that hard. Um, I'm a pretty good test taker. And quite honestly, the test has nothing to do with structuring loans or how to best serve you and put you in the best loan uh, for your specific financial scenario. And so depending on who you talk to, you're going to get different levels of advice. You might get somebody with a kindergarten level education in mortgage. You might get somebody who's a PH friggin' D. Why not work with somebody who's got a PhD in mortgage? You don't have to be the smartest dude in the room. And quite honestly, I'm not, but I've wrote a lot of mortgages. I've seen a lot of structures. I've done a lot of things in mortgage specific. So I think I'm pretty good at it. There's a lot of others just like me who have done a lot of mortgages, understand how to structure a mortgage and as important, know how to extract the information from you. What's important to you? How long do you plan on staying in the house? Should we pay points up front? Should we not? Should we structure this as a 20-year loan, a 30-year loan? Should we do a 1-0 buy-down? Should we just do a straight 30-year fixed? All of these things are going to help you and your financial future. So spend some time finding the right pros who can lead you in the right direction. And it goes the same for the real estate agent. They're not all built the same. Some are great. And they're great because they've got a lot of practice. They're great because they do it every single day. There's great human beings that just happen to only focus on real estate two hours a week. That's not the human being I would choose to handle the largest financial transaction of my life. But you do you, boo. Find a professional on the real estate side who does it a lot. I've been around a lot of real estate agents. Some of them are absolute wizards. They know every single thing about the neighborhoods that they serve, what homes have sold for what price, in what condition, what they look like. They've actually walked through them, what type of feedback they've got from the agents who have been doing the transacting because they've talked to those agents and they network with those agents. Real estate, they know it all. That's the type of agent you want in your corner. Okay, enough about that. Find the pros, the real estate agent and the mortgage broker who know what they're doing. It's going to serve you, right? Last, but very importantly, not least, is be realistic. In 2020, I could talk to somebody and they got pre-approved and they were happy and I could give them a 2.625, 30-year fixed. Off they went, $2,432 a month. They were happy. I was happy. The world was happy. Well, we live in a different time in terms of monthly mortgage payments and home prices and overall affordability. If you're buying a house in 2024, you need to realize you're not going to have the same payment as somebody who bought in 2019 or 2020. So the idea that you're going to buy in a lot of the areas that I'm working in and have a payment sub $2,000 a month is just no longer exists. The ship has sailed. So be realistic as far as what a mortgage payment is going to look like. A lot of conversations I'm having, it's going to be a few hundred dollars more per month than renting. Long term, when your mortgage stays the same and rents continue to increase, you're paying down your mortgage, your home's increasing in value, you've got tax write-offs. Homeownership is going to pay dividends 
in the long run, in the short term, it might feel like a $2,900 payment versus a $2,600 rent, right? And so that's what you need to know and be realistic about. Also be realistic about the market that is drastically different than it was in Q4 of 2023. Not too long ago in Q4 of 2023, we wrote offers with $30,000, $50,000 in credit. Yes, I'm talking California home prices, so might have been a million dollar home. You're not going to get forty thousand in credit on a three hundred thousand dollar house, but nonetheless, there was a lot of seller credit to go around. There was price concessions. You might go twenty five thousand dollars below list. A house might have been on the market for sixty four days. Deals were abound. Well, we are in a time now with interest rates decreasing, more and more mortgage demand bubbling to the surface, with very little inventory to choose from it's going to be competitive. There's no other way to put it. It's going to be a competitive real estate market. So be realistic about the fact that if you've got the right pros and you've learned and done your research and you see what things sell for, you won't be surprised. You'll be able to be super realistic when your agent who is the right pro says, Sally, Mike, this home is in a great neighborhood. It's priced really competitively at 599. I talked to the listing agent. I've done four deals with the listing agent. I can tell you that all the offers they got have a six in front of them. They've got some that are approaching 620. If you really, really want this house, we got to be somewhere in that neighborhood. We've got to shorten our contingencies. We've got to close in 21 days. Maybe we've got to give them two weeks and rent back. I've done all this research because I'm a pro. That's what the agent is going to be saying in so many words. And you're going to follow that advice. You're going to be realistic about that advice. If you want to buy the house, if not, you don't want to be realistic, then 2024 might not be the year. Hopefully this video helped you in some way. If you've got any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me and my team. We are more than happy to help. Greatmortgagebroker.com. That's the best way to connect. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to hear. I'm going to provide more and more of the videos I provided in the past where we go into different types of products and guidelines and all that mortgage minutia that hopefully is going to serve some of you. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And until next time, we gonna see.